The S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, that's what we're discussing here on the day. Now, we're going to some equities and things that we like along those lines. But we had to start with the basics, the futures, to understand the overall direction. We did have NVIDIA earnings here on the after hours, and I'll go into that a little bit as well. Now, a few things. Now, number one this week, you had some decent volume to start the week off, but this is what you should expect for the remainder of the week. Uh, 48 million, 49 million volume on SPY. Horrendous, terrible, very, very low. Um, you're going to see a lot less trading, kind of what we anticipated. Giving you an idea too, just waking up this morning and just in Discord for my own personal trading, things like that. You know, woke up, right? Big break yesterday. Now just being patient, see if we could hold 16,000 and see how NVIDIA's earnings print, literally doing nothing today. I had no trading, didn't do anything, sat on my hands, literally did nothing. Okay. So, as we progress, we'll talk about where we're at now. Yesterday, obviously, we pushed up to like 16.1, kind of pushed back down here in the overnight session. And then to this morning, we bounced immediately off of 15.9, getting buyers off that level. Now, so far, again, volume here has been almost void, zilch, nothing. Um, you know, you can't do much with this volume here. As we zoom in, you can kind of see, as you see here, you know, initial you know, selling this morning and then nothing. Volume just died off. And again, this is kind of what you expect, right? Now, the biggest thing today in news was going to be as far as NVIDIA. Now, again, if you don't follow on Twitter, I recommend doing so. As you see here on Twitter, uh, going over exactly what was said from NVIDIA's earnings, uh, it was monstrous. It was, and I'll go over my opinion on this in a second. Revenue, 2 billion beat from expected 16.09, came out 18.12. Huge beat. Revenue, even gaming's making money now, automotive. I mean, everything, automotive is a little bit down, but ultimately, Pretty awesome. Uh, C's fourth quarter revenue again revised upwards from 16 billion this last to now 20 billion plus or minus 2%. They also did say that they expect China sales to decrease, but they still see upward growth that's happening here. Okay. Products to China that are now subject to licensing agreements have consistently contributed 20 to 25% of data center revenue. We anticipate a significant decline in sales of to these destinations in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2024. Though we do believe that this will be more than to offset by strong growth in other regions, right? So if China like ever gets better or we, you know, can get rid of some of those bands, um, it's worth mentioning that these numbers will just grow faster. Okay. So all that to say this, when you are looking at what's happening uh, with NVIDIA, I want to make a few things clear. I don't think you necessarily have to move immediately after earnings. A good, for instance, Microsoft, they reported earnings uh, not too long ago. We saw them gap up and then they just dropped and then they, you know, went to Narnia to all time highs here, right? Pan W, Palo Networks, last week, a lot of people were discussing this. Remember, AVGO dipped really big. You, you're moving up, earnings came out, you dipped and you went back up. So I just want to make this known that earnings out of the gate, the initial reaction is not necessarily what's happening with the stock. We also understand the volume is pretty shot down right now across the board. In my opinion, NVIDIA's earnings were monstrous. They're insane. They're crazy. Um, and then justifies NVIDIA going up higher. Don't really care what anyone says is a bubble, whatever. Um, the numbers don't lie. It is what it is. And so unless they're, you know, committing fraud on the numbers, uh, it's it's still a buy. Okay, so going a little bit deeper, and let's talk about NQ, SPY, where we're going for the rest of the week. Now, before we do that, I have to ask you to do two things. Consider liking and subscribing. Helps out tons here on the channel. Again, Monday through Friday, you see videos going over the stock market, everything in between here on the channel. Stocks for liking, everything in between. Um, we also do have the Discord link down below if you are interested, but again, right now that is sold out. Black Friday is coming up, so in around two days, we'll have that sale released, which will do our yearly sales, and then we'll also do the lifetime sale as well. Um, nothing else will be on sale, just to let you know. Some spots will open up uh, across the board, uh, but make sure you are ready for that. So again, those links are all down below. Also too, if you see these indicators on our screen, everything that's listed here, again, you want the custom script down here for buying and selling that's happening in, throughout the day. This is more of a scalping indicator. I'll tell you that right now. Um, that link is down below chart prime. Again, you get 30% off and they have their current Black Friday sales going on as well. So make sure you check it out. Um, again, so where do we see this going? Now, right now, all I'm really watching is this 16,000, 15,000 level holding this just over the next few days. Again, I want to see how the market comes out tomorrow and it's going to be more of a day that I'm just evaluating how we're holding up here. I've already established most of my longer data positions, CrowdStrike, Amazon, uh, Walmart, uh, and then a few others as well. So again, when I'm coming and I'm looking at these levels, um, again, I'm just watching the reaction. You know, usually what we want to see is the breakout, the retest, and then that's when you get that follow through. So right now, yesterday, the breakout, potential retest, do we bounce from here? Buyers show up, we get back above 16K, we're really happy. You love to see what you're, you know, 
that type of action. Same thing here on SPY, except you're not really getting that big of a pullback. 351 is kind of the line in the sand there as well. So that's again where we're at and how we're moving there. There's no reason to complicate this, over confuse it, or anything like that. IWM, we definitely saw some selling here once again. So what do we see? So again, going to IWM basically into, I believe this was last Wednesday. We saw that touch of the 200 SMA. Today we came into 179, 180, got rejected so far. You wanna see if we're gonna make a higher low from this level, so hopefully anywhere above 176, and we start pushing back into this 200 SMA. Again, break over the 200 SMA, very, very bullish. Now again, today's video is gonna be very broad. There's no reason to, to hammer home equities, trade ideas, anything like that. I've gone over all of this, okay? The remainder of this week, I don't see crazy movement. I just don't. There's just the reality is not really there for myself. But how everything has set up, okay, and this video is pretty short. How everything has set up has been fantastic, okay? CPI, PPI, those are going to continue to be awesome. PCE, going to be awesome. Oils, getting hammered. We're going to look at the dollar, but those are also getting hammered. You're bouncing back into the 200. This is what we expected, though, right? What did we want to see? The break, again, retest, and hopefully sellers step back in. That's ideally what you want to see, okay? Again, keep those on your radar. Yields also pushing down. We're getting closer and closer to 2022 highs. Again, all the same levels you've been talking about for some time. You're right there on the 10-year, 30-year. Got a little bit more ways to go. But across the board, these are all signs and things that we've been waiting for patiently um, and hopefully can, can you know get us that big payout over the next few days and weeks. But for right now, ultimately, NVIDIA's earnings are, are past this. And honestly, for, it's for the better. I want there to be no real catalyst or things that can bring us down. Going forward, all these inflation reports, I believe they're going to be beneficial until the end of the year. We have stuff that's being resolved in the House, with avoiding the government shutdown, which was the reason for that you know, downward credit rating or credit outlook, right? So these are all things that are helping us right now. So in my opinion, the way that I'm looking at this is what can bring this market down, not what's going to continue pushing us up. And so that's the main question for myself is what can, you know, push this market down. Um, and right now, the only thing that I could think of personally is government shutdown or bad data. And we're just not getting that. So I do think we're going to try to reaffirm the policy of pausing, continue this pausing method until then, you know, beginning, probably center, center part of next year, going into summer, um, hopefully getting cuts around that time. But that's where we're at right now. There's no reason to overcomplicate this. There's no reason to jump to conclusions. Again, Getting a breakout, we said it yesterday. Ideally, you always want to see that retest. Again, when we covered it back here, you broke, retest, pop back up. Same thing, same trend, same overall look, same trade idea, same trade plan. Nothing's changed here. If you want to see all my updates, I'll have some charts here on Twitter, so make sure you check those out. Really short video on the day. Hope you guys have something out of this. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.